What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron NG840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Baytrail family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 792 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture, or using the latest driver suite available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1TB external one on which the game is installed. As for operating system, we are using Windows X Lite REST or Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. Happy Valentine's Day everyone! The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Dead or Alive 5. And let's get straight to the points now.
If you don't want the game to run in slow motion, you can actually lower the resolution further from the lowest allowed by default 1024x7681 by simply downloading the Dead or Alive 5 resolution mode, which I will share in the pinned comment. Make sure to download the latest version of the mod, I personally recommend the zip file download. Extract the file from the mod to your game directory, then right click and open the mod resolution.ini file with notepad. In it, set the resolution value to whatever resolution lower than 1024x768 you desire as long as your PC supports it, such as 800x600 for example. I will also run the game at 640x400 later, but for now, let's see how it looks at 800x600. Finally, make sure to run the game from the game sr.exe file in the game directory. You can create a shortcut of it for more convenience. And now let's play Dead or Alive 5 at 640x400. I am ready. 